Shadow of the Erd Tree. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Shadow of the Erd Tree is, it is the quote, first and last expansion for Elden Ring, the biggest game of the decade. We have a little bit of an update right here. This is, no, it's from Miyazaki. And he says, Shadow of the Erd Tree will be Elden Ring's first and last expansion. This is it. Elden Ring 2 is not off the table, but this, this is the this is the only expansion that we're going to get for this game. So, what does that mean, first and last expansion? Obviously, it means there's only going to be one expansion. But, I was thinking about this. One expansion, why are they like you know saying, why. oh, there's not going to be another expansion? Them. You better yeah. tell them why. why? I'm going to tell you why right now. It's because, this is a $40 expansion, by the way. It is a $40 expansion. Take it. They... Yeah, they could take 80 bucks as far as I'm concerned. That's how I'm good Elden Ring you. is. Yeah. So, why is this the first and last expansion? The and last part is what I want to talk about. This expansion is, in my opinion, Say going it. to be so big. Say it. That they're like, we're not doing this again. This thing was a ton of work. This is it. This is all you're going to get. This is basically an entire sequels worth of content mm. in an expansion that's why they decided to charge 40 bucks for it that's why they said this is it we're not going to make another one because in my opinion they know that it would be way too much work and they want to get started on elden ring 2 or whatever other ip they're going to be working on and and they know that this game is meaty that's what that's in in short that's what it tells me one expansion this is going to be a huge expansion it's going to be meaty it's going to be Something you can seek your, sink your teeth into and play for almost as long as the original Elden Ring. It's what we want, it's what we need, is what we're going to get. Price point, who really gives a damn? And the reason why I feel this way, you feel this way, and probably a few other hundred thousand gamers feel this way is because FromSoft has always, always put out a quality product to justify price. They have never skimped us. They've never done us wrong. They've only put out the best of the best. And I expect it. And this DLC will probably go beyond my expectations. I mean, like you said, it's going to be meaty. The Elden Ring game itself was very meaty. But the big part and the part that you kind of slid over is that they're also going to be working on their next title. I'm right. fine with it. Give me whatever it is you're working on. Come on. I, I got to say something and I'm going to let you continue. But I got to say something and push back a little bit. The $40 price point is not something to be taken lightly. I, I think it's a much bigger deal than you're making it out to be. Not in the sense that, oh, I'm afraid to pay $40 for this. They got my money. I didn't pre-order it, but they it's coming out. You know, it's, mm -hmm. the, it's, it's coming out. They're getting that $40 day one. The $40 is a big deal because it means that the publisher and the developer both agree that this is a big, big expansion. If Think about it this way. If they charged $15 for the expansion, would you be worried that it's just a couple of bosses? And I sure like would. New, it exactly. wouldn't even be a couple. It'd probably be one boss and maybe a That's new era saying. to explore. That's all I'm saying. When you see that $40 price tag, it kind of gets you... When you see $40, you're like... I don't know what it's going to be, but I know that they believe it is worth $40. And if they believe it? Oh, right. come on, right. man. And I don't think that they are making it $40 because just because they know people are going to spend that and because they got people up against the wall because Elden Ring is so good, I don't think this is them trying to squeeze every last drop out of this IP. I think... <laughs> It really is that massive. Because if they were trying to do that, they would do three expansions. If they were trying to do that, they would do four expansions. They're not trying to do that. They're trying to make this one massive thing. They clearly think, wow, we can't do this again. This was way more... We got way... Not that they're in over their head, but this is a lot of work and we want to move on. This is the first and last expansion. That is a huge deal as far as I'm concerned. And I could not be more excited for this. Predictions... Um, okay, this is the prediction I'm going to make. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree will be the best-selling game of 2024. That's the, that's the bold prediction I'm going to make. Wow. We talked about how Hogwarts Legacy was 2023's best-selling game. This is going to, this is going to break. I might not sell more than that because that's a $60, $70 game, but 
it will be the best selling game of 2024 in my and that's my prediction that's that's my bold prediction so I like it yeah